fun. Yeah. So I'm just going to ask, I mean, who are you? What's your name? And we started. Yeah. We started a long time ago. You just <laughs> oh, shut <laughs> freelance journalist for many years till um, 2004 and really as a response to the war in Iraq my life just went off in a totally different direction in a way I never planned. Mm. So what happened was um, I felt kind of politicised by that conflict that really got me fired up and angry because I couldn't understand the logic. I couldn't understand the logic of kind of bombing a country into a democracy. It made no mm. sense to mm. me. The only thing I could see that was a really positive thing to do was to try and collect stories. People can respond to pain and conflict and hurt and harm in ways that doesn't create more pain and mm. conflict and hurt and harm. <laughs> That's what I did for a year, in between other jobs. It was a private, personal project. I had no idea what I'd do with these stories. I just knew I needed to collect them. They really were stories of hope in a very hopeless time. That's basically how it began. I decided to start a charity, a not-for-profit, using the stories to create a different kind of narrative. <laughs> you should never feel anger and pain and hate even but it's when it sticks is the problem and I've met people for whom you know hate corrodes and anger corrupts and people become very stuck in those places and, and can't move beyond it. it feels a very personal thing forgiveness <laughs> more personal way, blessed are the pure of heart, for they shall see God, is on my brother's gravestone. He died at 17 from an inherited genetic disease and I was brought up a Catholic. So, and that is the inscription on the gravestone where he's buried. So, um, you know, that one, that particular one is probably the one that means the most to me. We live at a time when the messages of hate and insularity and division so easily amplified that there seems to be a need to redress that balance. Stories stick, facts fade, ideas fade. But when you hear the story of an individual, that impacts on all of us because we start to walk in those shoes.